Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl, and I am here at Bush Gardens, Tampa, where I'm going to be uh, spending Christmas in the parks. This is my new little series that I'm going to be doing, and so um, today I'm just going to go ride the rides, but come nighttime, when the Christmas lights are out, I'm going to see what it's like over here, and uh, just see where the magic begins. So, let's go. See, this is what I like. I like the, the different types of decorations. You have tiger stripes, you have jaguar stripes, cheetah stripes. So yeah, this, this is very beautiful. Cute little animal ornaments. Oh, that is so adorable. I am honestly surprised by this place because, I mean, this place is just like decked out. It's everything that I hoped for and you know because I was afraid. I was honestly afraid that there weren't going to be a lot of parks that weren't as in the Christmas festive festivities as I was hoping would. But no. I mean everywhere you go left to right it is just decorated with um, ornaments, with Christmas trees, with you know Christmas lights. I mean if this looks great in the day I can't wait to see what it looks like at night. So later on tonight, over here will take us to Christmas Town, where you can see all the different kinds of uh, lights and stuff that they have available. Normally, this is just a regular, you know, walk through the the gorillas and through where what used to be the sea otters, but I think they have penguins over there. But I think here it says "Welcome to Penguin Point." So yeah, so here they'll have the displays for the penguins and probably some lights tonight, so that's exciting. So over here, where you're waiting for the train and stuff is where you can come and see Santa, which is gonna be opening pretty soon. See, this is interesting. I've never seen this before. I've never seen black, you know, Christmas wreaths and all that stuff. While waiting for nightfall, I figured I'd take the liberty of riding my favorite rides, starting with the cheetah hunt. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! is that um, in different spurts of the park is decorated. Not all the park is decorated, but just different aspects of it. So um, we just went over by where the elephant uh, refuge is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what it's like Christmas over by Cobra. Over by Cobra and Montu, as you can see, their Christmas trees are brown versus cheetah, 
which was black. And it's like, I never realized that there, there were different types of Christmas trees in different colors. Next up is the Cobra's Curse. And let me tell you, you're in for a doozy. Serpent, I am the Oh, here it comes. Oh here my comes. god! Ah, ah, ah. Definitely one of my all-time favorites because of the twist and because of the turns and you know going backwards going you know upwards and, and, and all that stuff and it's unpredictable. Well yeah. Cobra's Curse, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Next up was the Montu. An oldie, but definitely one of the goodies. I think I see my house or yeah, my house here. Here we go. Here we go. Using the sky ride, I quickly surveyed the area as I marveled at the wonders I had in store. After riding the Kumba, that's when the magic began. And I thought the Tunnel of Lights was awesome. I didn't expect what came after the tunnel. As I left Shikra, I came across the Bird Sanctuary, which was nice and all. But when I stopped off over by the Sesame Street land, I was blown away. say Sesame Street is like the most decked out Christmas themed you know thing that they have going on here right now I mean everything is just beautiful and and gorgeous it's just you know very colorful and I mean I love just how vibrant the colors are I mean 
like I said, this, this, this is Christmas. It was bittersweet leaving the Sesame Street land, but we were welcomed by the poinsettia queen and her little elf. <laughs> I'm gonna be famous. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Tweety. Tweety. Hi, Tweety. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Enjoy some cookies and drink some hot cocoa. Wait, there's free cookies and hot cocoa? What? <laughs> there's free cookies at Santa's house. Hot cocoa, though. After bidding us farewell, they guided us to our next destination. So now that we've finished with Sesame Street, we're heading over to where uh, the Kwanzi or Gwazi and where Tigris is soon to be made. So um, I'm going to try and see if I can keep an eye on it. But like I said, this is the most lit up park I have ever seen so far because I still have the others to go to. Because I came on a weekday, the Christmas Town wasn't officially open, so I never got a chance to experience the hot chocolate, but there was still more stuff to see. This makes it all worthwhile. The winter wonderland that Florida begs to have. Now don't think I forgot about Penguin Point. It had some good moments, but what I was looking for was Santa's workshop. All right, so now I'm back at Santa's uh, workshop where, you know, you were supposed to be, where people go and take pictures of Santa Claus. And like I said, it is beautiful in the day, but out here right now, it is just gorgeous. I love it. It wasn't long until Bush Gardens had to close, and as we left, I was satisfied. So yeah, so that was Christmas time at Bush Gardens, and I mean, I have to say, they did a phenomenal job just decorating this place. I mean, everything about it was beautiful, and I look forward to seeing what the other theme parks uh, have for Christmas time. So guys. Thank you for coming along with this journey with me. If you liked it and you enjoyed it, make sure to leave uh, a, you know, a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you want to see more videos, you know, make sure you put a notification on that bell. And stay tuned, because like I said, there's plenty more theme parks that has Christmas in store. Until then, guys, this is Naisha Marine, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.